How does ERS work in F1 Manager 23? I promise you, by the end of this video, you are going to understand perfectly how ERS works. Now, I'm assuming right now you're a beginner and it's just super complicated and it makes no sense because it doesn't at the beginning. There's a few simple techniques you can use to really use it to your advantage. And it's kind of a cheat mode in F1 Manager because if you deploy it to its full effect, breeze past people. And if you end up in an ERS hole, it's a disaster, can ruin your race. So we're here with Fernando Alonso at Monaco going around Rascast, stars and bars on the inside there, Anthony Nogue's last corner. The start finish line is super important in ERS. So here we go, start finish line, have a look here. And you can see that the battery tank is going to uh, replenish and we're starting the harvesting and we're starting the deployment. So three things that you need to know about with ERS, we've got deployment, we've got the battery, and we got harvesting. That's pretty much it. Now we can deploy on the lap a maximum of four megajoules. It's quite a lot of energy. And in the battery tank itself, there is a maximum of four megajoules that can be stored. So already we can see that you can basically deplete your battery tank in, is it battery tank or battery pack, whatever, in one lap. Now the maximum you can harvest in a lap is two megajoules. Now I think the F1 cars could harvest a lot more than that, but they're sort of artificially limited because of the dynamics I'm going to explain to harvesting only two megajoules. Now you can see here, Fernando Alonso has almost harvested the maximum amount of energy he's able to on this lap, 1.6. He's going to harvest it in the braking zones. He's going to deploy it coming out in the acceleration zones. Swing pull chicane, harvesting a little bit, deploying the way out. Uh, Ras casts again, a bit of harvesting, yes. And he's just about to harvest the maximum of two megajoules. So this is really, really, really important here because I want to show you what's going on. So just before we go over the start finish line, this is going to make it super simple. We've harvested the maximum amount, can't harvest any more on this lap, and we've deployed two megajoules. So technically we have two megajoules still to deploy to get up to four, but we've only got five meters of track left and there's 3.6 in the battery. I'm going to go to deploy now here and you're going to see what's going to happen as we go over the line. So over the line, everything resets. So we can now harvest a maximum of two and we can deploy a maximum of four and we've got 3.6 in the tank. Because I've gone to deploy, it's going to try and deploy a huge amount of battery power each uh, lap. I think it's going to deploy the full four megajoules and it's still going to harvest the two. Remember how I said how efficient the cars are at harvesting? So even if you're on deploy, it's not going to like not harvest. It's still going to harvest the maximum amount. It's just going to deploy also the maximum amount. So have a look here. It's all going to ring true. We, we are by the end of this lap, I promise you, going to have deployed four megajoules and we will have harvested two megajoules. And that's going to put us down to, I think, 1.6 megajoules in the tank or the battery pack. So if you're questioning my expertise in this, by the way, I did the same explanation last year on F1 Manager 22. Oh, my battery's gone. Hang on a second. Oh, don't, you can still see me, right? You can still see me. And it was really, really helpful. Thousands of people enjoyed it. So we're going through the tunnel here. Going to be last bit of harvesting, probably. 1.6 up to 2. That's it. No more harvesting. Deployment. We've still got 1.3. We can still deploy 1.2. That's going to happen maybe on the exit of this corner a little bit. Let's see on the power. Yes. And then the swim pull chicane. Bit of squirt on the exit here. Maybe half a megajoule. 3.1. A little bit less little bit here are we going to get up to four by the end of lap 3.2 maybe a big deployment here let's three four five six seven eight nine yes so it's basically going to be four now this is where you end up in an ers hole so if you're playing f1 manager and you just end up in a terrible place with the battery this is exactly how it happens so we've got um we had about two megajoules in the tank there we're going to harvest again two megajoules but look what's going to happen with the deployment. So there we go. We're harvesting. As it's harvesting, it goes straight into the battery. So the battery's always live. But well, we only can put 0.7 more into the battery now. 0.2 more. That's it. 2.6. It's not going to be any higher than that. It's just going to go down now. And because we can deploy a maximum of still um, 2.8 megajoules or 2.7, that battery is going to go down to zero. I promise you. Let's see when it happens because it's a very depressing thing when it happens in the race because you're in the, what I call the ERS hole. But I'm going to show you how to get out of it, which is a really important bit as soon as we see this. So we've got 9, uh, but we've still got more than 0 0.9 able to be deployed. So he's going to try and deploy that. And basically, Alonso is 
is going to run out of battery, even though he has theoretical deployment left, he just does not have the battery to deploy it. So you can see here, it's going to happen on the exit of uh, Anthony Nogues. We've seen it. Battery is now is now dead. Um, but he's gonna he, he now cannot deploy anymore, even though he's legally allowed to deploy 0.4, he does not have the battery to deploy it. So he's a sitting duck in the race. The harvesting is maximum harvest. What will happen as soon as we go over the line, the harvesting in, in, in into Sandavot, the first corner, will immediately start to go back into the battery. So I want to show you over the line. We have low battery. As soon as we start to harvest into turn yeah. one, you can see it goes into the battery immediately. I promised you I was going to demystify this, right? But now we're in the hole because as soon as it's coming in, in the braking phase, it's going out in the acceleration phase. So it's just... It's just a disaster, really. So how do we get out of this hole? Because we can go around it. I'll show you. Um, you know, he's basically screwed. Um, you can see he's always constantly running out of battery. So back here with Fernando Alonso again, going around Raskas, penultimate corner. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put him on harvest. This does not get you out of the hole very quickly, but it's a step you need to do if you want to get back to battery replenishment. If there's a safety car, go on harvest. If you're sitting behind another car and you don't want to overtake for whatever reason you're fuel saving go on harvest that kind of stuff so now we're harvesting we're going to still harvest the maximum of two megajoules no matter what setting you're on you're always going to harvest two megajoules but we are only going to deploy i believe one megajoule on this lap so have a look here you're not going to see the same like mad deployment in every acceleration phase um and in fact i'm going to zoom forward a little bit here and you can see by the end of the lap, Anthony knows he's only deployed one megajoule. Now that gives us a delta of only plus one, so we need to do quite a few laps to replenish that tank. We're going to do another lap here, going to zoom forward. And we're going to get another additional megajoule in the tank. So as we come around here, just going to overline now, we've got basically three megajoules we started with, harvest, deploy. So by the end of this lap, we might be in kind of where we want to be. There's Alonso coming around from Porsche Chicane. Let's have a look. Um, we're still not quite there. I mean, this is how long it's taken us to sort of refill the battery. You can deplete the battery much, much quicker than you can refuel it. It's the most important thing. In fact, that was the end of the race. So there we go. If you want to harvest, you can only save one megajoule a lap. If you want to deploy, you can you can lose two megajoules a lap because you're deploying four, only harvesting two. Or you can keep it neutral, harvest two, deploy two. Or you can try and harvest, harvest two, deploy one. So that's how it all works. If you end up going into ERS hole, harvest for a bit. But remember, it's going to take your time. It's going to take time. Also uses in qualifying as well. Harvest or make sure you have full battery when you go onto your qualifying lap. I really hope that's helped, by the way. Please subscribe if it has. Hit the like button as well. Lots more F1 managers and videos around the screen, and I'll see you. I'll see you next time.